We're going to talk about basic electrical theory today, and that involves the differences between series and parallel circuits. So a series circuit is defined as a circuit that has one path for current, and I'll draw that. First I'll give the circuit a source of power, and then I will draw these loads or these resistors. And I'll put three resistors or three loads in this circuit. And this is an example of a series circuit having one path for current. The electrons will go from this terminal, the negative terminal, which is the short end, and the positive terminal, which is the longer horizontal uh, line. And these squiggly lines, as I mentioned, are the loads. And you can see here that the electrons will flow from negative to positive. There is no other way to get from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. There is just one path for current. And that is the definition of a series circuit. Now there are rules to follow and terms to understand within the circuit. One of the terms to understand is the term resistance. And resistance is measured in ohms. And the symbol for ohms is the omega. Omega, that's, a, that's the sign for ohms. There's another term, voltage of course. Electricians know voltage. And sometimes you'll see voltage described as uh, an E, and it's also described as a V. And you'll see the term amperage, which is described uh, with the letter I for intensity, but that stands for amperage. And there's a term for power, which is watts. So those are the terms that the electrician needs to know uh, regarding series or parallel circuits. And there are rules associated with a series circuit and to solving um, uh, amperage or solving for total voltage or solving for total resistance. And those rules are described here. So if you wanted to find the total resistance of this circuit, you would simply add each of the resistor values, however many there are. That's what the three dots mean. So the total resistance equals the resistance of resistor 1 plus resistor 2 plus resistor 3, and that will give you the total resistance. To determine the total voltage, and I'll describe that as VT, you would simply add the voltage that is dropped across resistor 1 and add it to the voltage dropped across resistor 2 and add it to the voltage dropped across resistor 3 and however many other resistors there are. The last term that I want to describe is amperage, and that's described as a I for intensity. And in a series circuit, amperage stays the same wherever you are in the circuit. So if you wanted to know the amperage across resistor 1, it would be the same as the total amperage throughout the circuit. And that's the same across each of the resistors. So I'll describe that by this formula. There's another formula called Ohm's Law, which is very important to use as we're uh, in combination with these formulas here. And that is a relationship between voltage, amperage, and resistance. And they normally describe that as E equals IR. And it's more easily understood, and 
by using a circle, a large circle, and dividing that circle horizontally and putting E up here for voltage and dividing the lower half of that circle with the I and the R. Now this is uh, uh, the formula Ohm's law and it expresses the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. And that same formula is described here. It's a very simple way of describing this formula and then knowing how to solve for different variables within that. And it's a very simple formula. You would just, if you're given the voltage and the amperage and you're asked to find the resistance, you just cover the resistance with your thumb or hand and the circle tells you to divide amperage into voltage. If you were looking for the voltage and you had the amperage and resistance, you would cover the E and this horizontal line here would ask you to multiply amperage times resistance to get voltage. So it's a very easy way to solve for the different variables in this formula. And we'll go through some questions and some, some problems uh, later in a different presentation. Uh, one term that I didn't uh, describe here is wattage, which is power. And I'll just put that up here. PT is going to equal the power across resistor 1 plus the power through resistor 2 plus the power that's consumed by resistor 3 and so forth. So that's the wattage or the power formula. And a similar formula exists for the power. That is pi. P for power equals I E, or power equals amperage times voltage. And again, we have three variables and we could draw a similar circuit or a similar picture, a circle with the line horizontally divided, and then put P and I in the different quadrants here. And that formula is used exactly the same way as this formula and to solve for different variables in the, in the uh, pi formula. So that's an example of series circuits in combination with Ohm's law, which is the relationship between voltage, amperage, and resistance.